I feel like at a young at a young age, I've had this sort of self confidence within myself. I've always been somebody who raises their hand as soon as I know the answer. But being at ICA, I definitely see myself raising my hand more. In a, in a co-ed environment, I would wait to see, oh, is a guy gonna raise their hand? Do I have to beat them? Because there's a feminine aspect to it. Like, you want to be seen more. My parents grew up very, very low income. They didn't get that chance to pursue any type of higher education. And so just me being here in high school and you know, working hard, getting good grades, that in itself they're really proud of. I didn't really expect that kind of support coming into ICA and into the Corporate Work Study Program. Um, but I'm really grateful I get to have that experience because I am the first in my family to go to college. So all that is new to me. I came from a public, a really big public school. I was scared of like going to teachers when I needed help. It was like really intimidating. I feel like I, felt, I felt, kind of felt like a failure. And then it was just like, what was the point of school anymore? I didn't, I didn't, I stopped trying coming to ICA. And then everyone's kind of like rooting for you. And then it just felt like it gave me motivation to do my best. The communication between us and the teachers are very good. Also. They're very supportive of you. So freshman year, I had conceptual physics with Miss Sullivan, and Miss Sullivan has been a key point in my growing up at ICA. She's very welcoming, and she taught me a lot about the subject that I think really drove my love for it, honestly. You can see she learned a lot. So, she, and she put um, more care, you know, with the whatever she need to do. To my history teacher, she is amazing. She, oh my God, I love her. <laughs> you can tell she's passionate about what she teaches and it makes us feel like we're gonna care about this class too. She was always caring for us as students, always making sure that we were uh, feeling safe, feeling uh, healthy. Being at ICA and always going to the office and sister always knowing my name still surprises me. Just being remembered, them knowing who you are. Like everyone here is super open-minded, like no one is like judgmental, no one's gonna like make fun of you for like the things you like. Um, and that's one thing that I really like about ICA, everyone is super nice and I know that's like almost like hard to believe, but. At ICA, even though it's an all girls school, we still see, you know, nobody's like, oh, you should do what a girl does. You know, they're always kind of like, you should do, you know, what you want to do. Everybody's very friendly. Everybody like, I'm a jokester. So like, I joke in class a lot and then everybody just laughs. There are some days where I might not want to come to school and do the work, but knowing that my friends are here and that they're willing to make me laugh and smile gives me enough motivation to get up and come. I really like the sisterhood, it's, it's great. And also the work program. I feel like the work program, it really helped me because like I'm a shy person and like this really helped me like put it out there. Like it really helped me as a person. I wanted to, uh, just gonna go over the schedule that we have for today. I feel like I could socialize with the workers here, even though they're older, I could still like, you know, socialize with them. I'm less shy than I was. Uh, I was really good at keeping a conversation and being here, like, it really pushed me out of my comfort zone a lot. I really felt like I had the chance to grow and to, like, really express myself. Being all girls school and the close relationships that she had with her teachers, that just propelled her. When they say that it takes a village to raise a child, oh my God, no, um, it does, and I'm so, happy and proud of, of both of my kids, but just of the whole community of ICA. I'm just blessed that they came here 